gushers tropical. Now I can say I did not expect these to win by as much as they did, but you asked and here they are. So let's take out our cards for tonight and see what we will be working with as we have one magic card right there. All right, let's see our next episode's contestants. First, we have the Haichu Infusions. Then, the Jolly Rancher Gummies, Sour Reds, Haribo Strawberry, and lastly, Sour Patch Kids Blue Raspberry. All right, some pretty good options there. Let me know what you'd like to have next. And let's begin our night of some candy in solitaire. Now, I have some thoughts on Gushers. I think if your parents really wanted you to be a cool kid, you got Gushers in elementary school. But if your parents were a little more somewhat health conscious, that you got like Welch's fruit snacks. Now be honest here. Were you a Gushers kid? Or were you a Welch's kid? Honestly, I haven't had Gushers since elementary school, I believe. So this is going to take me back. So let's deal out our first game of the night. And honestly, I'm a bit excited. These were always the it candy slash gummy. So let's see if they still hold up. And they're tropical, so that's a little bit exciting, wouldn't you say? Anyway, if you enjoy these videos, please let me know. Like, comment, all of that stuff. But for now, please get yourselves nice and comfy. And let's begin.
back in elementary school, my friend and I stayed in this after school program. And there was this snack situation. We had this one friend who would be in charge of the snacks. And they hooked us up with probably 10 packs of Gushers. And the packs were probably about that big in size. Because I think that's the end of our first game. Actually, give me a second. And I remember my friend was super excited about it because he loved Gushers. And I think he overdid it. Because we were playing a game and he ate all 10 packs of Gushers before. And let's just say we saw the rainbow after that and that ruined the Gushers for him. And you know my butt was laughing at him the whole time because friends are just for laughing at, right? I kid, of course, but it was pretty funny. And after that, I think I got all gushed out too because these things are nice like once in a while in my opinion but already I'm getting a little bit of that residual waxy flavor but we'll give it one more try before we give it its rating as we already have two fat stacks on our night now isn't that pretty sweet with a chance, probably not at a third. So, let's see if it's all for naught. I think we might have a shot. Wouldn't that be something if we started off with a win? And just like that, I think we just might have. So let me have another one of each while we stack these up and find out if we win or not. flavors are okay, but that one tastes off, and then it tastes good again, somehow, as we have all of the spades, ace to king, all of the clubs, next, the hearts, followed by the diamonds, let's do our victory shuffle.
chopsticks aren't doing too well tonight, as you can see. Trouble 
short-lived. I don't know if any of you have been on Splash Mountain before, but it's kind of like that. But instead of at the end, where you have a little splash, it's at the beginning. And everything else is the build-up. The waiting in line. The build-up to go up, where you're kind of hoping for something cool to happen, but nothing really does. Is Splash Mountain even around anymore? Honestly, I have no idea. But we do get ourselves a fat stack to our left, so at least we have that going for ourselves in this game. And if this queen has something beneath, then maybe we can go far in this one. I don't know. Let's go with one of each and see how that does us. in front of 
come on. That would be perfect. Red five and a king, maybe a red jack. I mean, definitely a red jack and a red ten. Come to think of it. Ooh, almost. There's our red five, at least. If all else, nothing happens, we receive one more fat stack on our night. Ten. And a chance at a second.